Hi, I'm Sean Gannett, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about evaluating limits. We're going to evaluate each limit here. So, if I was given this limit, <coughs> the limit as x approaches 3 halves of negative square root of 2x plus 4. Okay? Well, from there we have a root function, right? A root function, we can take the limit wherever it exists. It is also continuous there, wherever it exists, right? So, we're going to plug directly 3 halves in. Now, luckily, 3 halves is a positive number. 3 halves times 2 stays positive, plus 4 is going to stay positive. We're not going to have an issue of taking the square root of a negative, okay? So, at this point, we're going to take the limit by plugging directly 3 halves in for x. So, we have a negative on the outside, square root of 2 times 3 halves plus 4. So let's just simplify this a little bit. The negative stays on the outside here. The square root of, well, 3 halves. Okay. 3 halves times 2, or 2 times 3 halves. The 2's cancel, leaving us with just 3 plus 4. And 3 plus 4, pretty simply, is 7. So we have this negative square root of 7. Now remember, negative is on the outside, so it's totally fine for a square root. And that is our strong answer. So let's recap. We're given the limit as x approaches 3 halves of the negative square root of 2x plus 4. We, since this is a root function here, we can plug directly 3 halves in for x, right? And then it will, we can take a limit wherever it exists, okay? Well, <clears throat> it exists at 3 halves, it's continuous there. 3 halves in for x, 3 halves times 2 is 3, bring down the 4, and the square root is negative. Well, 3 plus 4 is 7, right there. And so our final answer here, in the simplest form, is the negative square root of 7, and that is a limit as x approaches 3 halves of negative square root of 2x 